Hello and welcome to Leah Makes Noise. I am an art channel normally, but today I had time to read EA about this MAC palette clap. Um, I also recorded an intro where I was just speaking directly to camera, but the audio ended up being messed up. And, you know, there's already so much mediocre stuff that we're talking about that I just couldn't put y'all through bad audio. Not for a long time. So, yeah. Um, today we're talking about this ashy Casper the Ghost friendly um, palette that came out. And... Right now, as you see me speaking by and talking, I'm talking about how Sims people and makeup lovers are both two of the most detail-oriented people you could ever come across. So it's just really disrespectful that both of these companies just did not try. They didn't try with the colors. They didn't try with the packaging. They didn't try with even the naming of things. It was, yeah. So yeah, that's basically what I'm introing, but in a way more clever way. I don't understand. There was literally no thought put into it. None of the names have anything to do with the Sims. All the colors are ashy on white people, so you know it's gonna be ashy on anybody melanated. All of the packaging, the packaging itself is just terrible. It's just like, they literally just slapped a logo on the blue. So like, it's like they knew that the Sims had bright colors in terms of even the outside. Like they knew like, oh, the green and the blue, but they weren't like, oh, let's put this inside of this palette. No, they just used some raggedy old, busted old palette from 2017 um, and thought that nobody was gonna notice. And you were dealing with the most detailed audience. You deal with makeup people, you deal with sim people. We are very detailed people, we notice details. <laughs> That's the point. That's the reason why we like both of those things. And so why would you think that nobody would notice that you're gonna reuse the old palette? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that maybe some PR company was like, Y'all should do a palette. They were like, Okay, let's get this done in like a few weeks and they were like, you know what can make it go faster? So if we just reuse these old ones we have stocked up in our warehouse. And they were just like, fine, let's like reskin it and then let's put it out. It sold out on the website. Like, who bought this? Why? Why? <laughs> I've seen that a few other creators have come up with their own palettes of like what they their dream Sims um, Mac collab palette would have been. I want to do the same. I want to want to go through the game and just swatch out colors that I think would be cool to use within a palette. And then I'm gonna draw the palette and digitally illustrate the palette. And then I'm gonna find what colors I have in my own makeup repertoire to do my face in those colors. And it honestly shouldn't have just been a palette. It should have been like a whole makeup collection, but <laughs> baby steps. watching all of that all these colors it's watching this maybe why not yeah like this vampire energy wow wow she cute I was trying to make an A-frame and clearly failed but you know what it's fine <laughs> but it's a very cute house Anyway, the roots are a little funky, but it's, it's fine. Down below is his studio. I'm not doing a very good job of touring this. Maybe I'll make this an actual video one day, but um, I want to get them around each other though, so that they can be flirty and I can get that color swatch. Um, and then upstairs is my studio in this attic's ish space. Larry flirty.
And if you're curious at all, this is the little setup I'm about to do. I was going to originally draw the palette first, but I live in Minnesota. We're losing light quickly. I'd rather do the face makeup right now and then draw the palette after. I knew that the Jackie Aina palette um, for Anastasia Beverly Hills would be helpful with this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and Fenty as well. So, yeah. Okay, so obviously I can't use all of these colors at once. And I definitely um, can't use them all just for my lids. So I think I'm gonna mix up some of the colors as if this if this was a makeup long like a collection of things like they did like an actual like oh a lip um a blush um some eye a, a palette if they did this the way that they should have done it <laughs> if they did this the way it was supposed to go then yeah. Also, I'm not very good with bright colors. I know I'm trying to make a bright color palette, but I, cause that's just what I feel like will makes the most sense with the Sims. Um, that being said, I had to really pull for some of these colors, but I don't really have that much bright makeup. Um, but what I'm thinking is that I should do some sort of green, green, blue, um yellowy like cool tones up here and then i can get warmer down here i think that would be cute this is not a makeup channel this is our channel and i'm gonna put the lash on see i'm trying i'm putting in way more effort than ea ever did so <laughs> one of these colors obviously my actual palette is going to be called mother Lobe. but that's once i actually start designing the palette design which will be later in this video. Um, but yeah, I think pulling a few different types of greens. I have this, I also have this color slide um, by Glossier. And I think it could, it looks like that grayish color that I pulled. So I think I might end up using this for like an under highlighter. Um, and this in the shade Early Girl. I don't know why I'm telling everybody this, but it's like if you want to go and buy all these products, even though like EA should have made this palette and MAC should have made this palette so you wouldn't have to. Um, yeah, but just in case you wanted to recreate whatever this look is going to end up looking like. Sorry, y'all. Had to wipe away, you know. Your girl has a uh, scalp psoriasis. It's a whole thing. That could be a whole other video. I'm just trying to figure out what my base is right now because I've, I've figured out I actually especially with cooler tones on my skin I need to start warmer build up to the cooler tones um, on top of that so I think yeah and I have that burnt orange color and I think I might use this secure to emulate that unless Jackie my girl Jackie got a better version of it all of hers are a bit darker than what I want to do. Realized my framing was off while I'm doing your brushes, so. <laughs> okay. Um, as a tip, I would normally set this before putting on my base. Especially if I wanted this to last all day, but I don't want this to last all day. Literally after I record this video, it's all getting wiped away. So um, I'm just gonna skip that step. I'm feeling like I need a little bit more. Like that much more. But I really want these colors to. So, you know, this, this is pretty much what it would look like if I was probably using the palette that they gave us. This, this is what I would be serving y'all. It'll probably be even more muddy though. 
it even more ash like. Yeah. Do you see the Casper realness radiating off of my eyelids? That's what I will be serving you according to that actual palette. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna go in with this secure. Yeah. Oh, she a little darker than I would have expected too. Maybe I should have went with the a more yellow color first. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling as I'm looking at this. This is more. I almost have to combine. Yeah, and I'm trying to avoid shimmers right now. I think I'm gonna combine. Yellow. I just washed with this lighter yellow from Fenty. That's what I'm gonna put up on top. Again, don't come for me. I am not a professional makeup person, beauty girl, woman, femme, man, zim. Like, I'm not. I can say confidently I'm doing a better job than what EA gave us. I wish I had a better yellow. But I'm gonna go in and bring that yellow all the way to the top. Okay, I'm gonna start building in the greens. And for the greens, I'm gonna use this green, which is Mulala. I mean, I'm gonna call this Mother Load. Or it's like a mother little green, but uh, actually going back and forth. I think I'm gonna start with this green, which is you know a darker base green. Yeah, yeah. I should have based with this one. This one, I mean, it's a little bit more red than what, but it looks a lot like the color that I pull from the uncomfortable. So, ooh, uncom you make me uncomfortable. I feel like this is, uh, yeah, I'm backtracking, but I really feel like it needs more warmth. So I'm actually, I'm gonna use that color real quick before, and I'm just gonna do it, you know, very lightly. I'm not gonna do too much. I just want y'all to know that if this does not turn out, this whole little section of me actually doing my face is going to get cut. I'm just keeping it 100. Oh no, it's kind of like Christmas. Yeah, it's giving me Christmas. I mean, it's fucked up, but I'm going to just do that slightly on the other side. Just to lay it down and get it on the equals. I can fix it. I can fix it. I believe in myself, I can fix it. I can fix it. I, can... <laughs> okay. I feel like it's all gonna fall apart because of this. I think that's not bad. I think it's not bad. There's probably a rule against me mixing powders with <laughs> Oh, that's kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's body all over. Okay. Let me go on with this. Let me let's see. Oh, okay. I feel better. You're already balancing things. Thank you, Ruby. Yeah, that's better. That's cute. She's cute. I'm just mad thinking about how easy it would have been for either of these companies to just I'm not even asking for 100% effort at this point. 
because 100% effort would have been something that my brain can't comprehend. It would have been, you know, partnering with like a Pat McGrath or a Fenty or hell, partnering with, I don't know, any sim like hardcore simmer and any hardcore color person to figure out what the right type of palette would be. Like a watermelon. <laughs> That's cute. This is mother load. That's gonna be officially mother load. So I'm going in with this for a darker shimmer. Mm -hmm. You see this one next to it, Yara? I think that also could have been nice in a Sims palette. These are from Juvia's Place. I really hope this is cute on camera. Because <laughs> if it's not, <laughs> ooh, honey. Y'all gonna be in my comments like, um, yeah, maybe it's, maybe they were right to <laughs> not. I think I look cute. I could be wrong though. I definitely feel like this needs an eyeliner. Wasn't planning to put an eyeliner on it, but it's that type of day. We're going for dramatics. I'm going to go in with Ife. Ife. Which you probably can see more clearly than me that it's actually more of the bluer tone. But that was hard to see until I swatched it with my skin. Terrible. This is not the greatest. For sure, but it's not terrible. If you're looking at this like, bro, that is not it. I promise I do not plan to have any makeup content in the future. <laughs> so you can still subscribe to me and rest assured that I will spend the rest of this time on this channel, on this here channel doing what I know how to do versus like doing what I know I have some expertise on, which is art um, versus makeup. Makeup for me is just fun. And anything I know is just because of them. Ooh, I'm giving, I'm giving myself, I don't know what about that gold just gave it to me, but I'm giving myself my fifth grade art teacher who would literally always have like Tropicana on her. Okay, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. For the cheeks, we're gonna go in with this Vamp Energy color. Come on, cheeks. This is the Storm by Cloud Paint. I mean, Storm cloud paint by I'm getting glossy day. I feel a little clownish right now, I'm not gonna lie. Not any specific color, it's just like the surrounding. I think I look cute. And as soon as I say that, I know this other one is about to get messed up and then it's gonna have to become a dramatic so that I can balance it out. Mm-hmm, see what I say. Am I the only one who feels like I've gotten worse with the liner because I do liners way less? often since quarantine, since COVID. I'm looking like Cleopatra coming at you, like, no. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm using um, the Fenty Freckle Fiesta. I think that the color can end up looking very similar to color from the I'm tired y'all the diamond thing for the vampire so I'm 
know what? Sure. Sure. I'm definitely giving myself art school teacher. For sure. <laughs> okay. And now I haven't used this lash yet, so I'm excited. It's a love scene lash. Um, Axel. Look at these. They're so cute. Um, I would never wear these on a daily. These are definitely lashes that I picked up thinking like, okay, once there's an event, I basically bought these lashes being like, one day there will be events again. Right? <laughs> also have one of these. Now. I can't tell if this is right. Okay, let's see. What is this other one? Like, I mean, it's still very cute. Still very cute. I'm still cute no matter what. I don't care. I don't care if my, my lashes are a little lopsided. It's fine. Y'all get the point.
it's dumb try to pretend Cause everyone has an end Can't ignore the gray hairs Popping every new year Noticing all the lines Grow deeper when I smile I used to think I still got time to waste But lately I feel like it's too late Met you when you were 19 I'll stay with you till 90 There's no way to stop now Let's go for another round Made another trip around the sun Woke up this morning with multiple backaches. Mm -hmm. I did. Still feel like I was just 21 last week. Mm -hmm. 21. I'm sorry, I live in the future. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. Please stay in the moment or else it'll pass away. Can't move the same like I did in my past ways. Had to bring out the bang game. Might have poured out a jar. Regret on these pancakes. Overeating's a bad trait. Nothing gets under my skin like a handshake. Injected with bad faith. Getting older kind of feels like ballet. I'm just watching a madness. My best years are ahead of me, but that on God, I'm on top of my game. Yeah, they just shooting a shot, but I've been working on range. Uh, might get old, but baby girl, we get better with age. Thank you.